Yeah, I mean, the cave, this is an idea that I've really, you know, had in my head for, I guess, almost 25 years in a way. It really does predate Maniac Mansion and, you know, even me working at Lucasfilm. And it was always kind of a game about these three characters that go into this odd, mystical cave and kind of learn something about themselves. And it was an idea that just, you know, it pops up every couple of years into my head, but uh, kind of, you know, popped up about a year and a half ago, and I was, you know, talking to Tim uh, about it, and... You know, he said, wow, that sounds like a really cool idea. You should come to Double Fine and let us make that game. And I thought, hey, that's a great idea. You know, I had this whiteboard in my office, and it was just filled with characters. You know, it had D7, it had movie starlet, you know, there was mobster, there was CIA agent. There were just all these things. And, you know, I started thinking about, well, what are their abilities? You know, the hillbilly can hold his breath indefinitely so he can swim, you know, really deep underwater. So, I, you know, I was thinking about each of the characters and their abilities and, you know, which ones worked well with puzzles and then you know, would cross them off the list on the whiteboard and, you know, these were the seven that we ended up with. There are different areas and the areas are kind of themed to the characters. So the knight, you know, has this giant medieval castle, which you can kind of see behind me here. It's inside the cave, and the scientist, uh, she's got this kind of underground missile silo, and, you know, using the character's special skills, you can kind of gain access to those, you know, areas of the cave. But it is one giant streaming world. There's no levels, there's no load screens. It's just, it's just this descent down, 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 deeper and deeper into the cave. The platforming in this game is super simple. With adventure games, one of the things that, you know, classic adventure games um, often get criticized for is there's just a lot of walking around. It's like I have to walk from one end of the island to the other end of the island to do something, and that kind of is a little bit boring. And so, you know, with the cave, it was about making that traversal fun. The story is presented mostly through the cave himself. It is this sentient talking cave that people are going into. So the cave really narrates a lot of what's going on, and he kind of narrates it in this like internal running monologue that he has with himself. Uh, the characters themselves, the seven characters, they don't actually speak. But you do run into other people as you're descending the cave, and they, they speak. It seems like it was just a lot more mysterious if the characters themselves didn't babble the whole time they were going through. It's a lot of writing, especially with you know, when there's just a primary character that you're writing for. So I definitely have people helping me uh, out with the writing on it. I think one of the things the cave really offers is it's this it's a wonderful sense of humor as you're going through the cave. It's kind of a dark humor. And I think there's also some really good adventure game puzzle solving in there. So I think, you know, people who like adventure games are really gonna, you know, love exploring the cave. The cave will be out in early 2013.